How's it guys? This bike here behind me is the 2019 Canyon Grail CF SLX 8.8 .8 Di2. Just about managed to get through all of all of that there. Um, and it is an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I rode it on the Maluti 100 route uh, a couple of weeks ago in the uh, Maluti Mountains region of the Eastern Cape from Barclay East to McClear. 160 k's, 100 miles. And even though the roads were brutally rough, the Grail conquered them amazingly well. I am, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm completely blown away by how fantastic this bike is, how well it handles, um, how well it handles really, really rough terrain when things get, things get beyond the capabilities of where a gravel bike is, is comfortable. This bike wasn't comfortable in that situation but it, it didn't it didn't let me down the handling was still really really predictable and um, yeah it, the way it manages to combine both speed and stability is is incredible um, it, you, as you see you're quite forward on the on the bike and uh, that really like encourages you to get to get over the big gear to get it into the big ring and to really like drive the grail forward which uh, makes it makes it feel like it wants to go fast all the time sort of eggs you on to to go fast but then at the same time the geometry is also quite forgiving so when you get it wrong which you quite often do on on gravel roads it doesn't get all like squirrely and out of out of control it, um, it wants to drive through those uh, those sections and uh, and keep you keep you going straight when uh, when you start to start to lose grip um, so I think those are the main the main points of the platform that will that will remain the, remain the same regardless of of the components across the the different line and then of course there's the two main features of the grail which is the the hover bar and the and the split seat post so canyon call it the uh, control bar at the bottom and the comfort bar at, at the top um, i think it's sort of been informally dubbed the hover bar in the in the industry and um that the top section when you're riding with your hands on the top like that it really does take a lot of the buzz out of the out of the road and then the same with the seat post as well it does absorb quite a lot of, uh, of feedback out of the road exactly how much is really difficult to tell it's such a subjective thing um, and I'm sure the Canyon engineers have put like hard, hard and fast numbers to it um, from a personal point of view what I really like about the uh, about the comfort um, part of the bar is that if you wanted to if you're riding on the hoods or in the in the drops you had no it had no bearing on your ride at all which is where it is um, in my opinion superior to um, to the specialized system with the with the spring in the in the headset where that's always doing it's, it's always doing its thing and I found that like when I rode the the, the, spe the new specialized diverge I found that a little bit like it's just not for me um, it's, so I think the um, the Grail system has got an advantage over that in that it's it's you know you're either using it or you aren't. It's not uh, it's not always it's not always on. Um, exactly how much it uh, it helps? I will have to go and uh, go and look on the on the Canyon website, do some serious digging. I'm sure there is there is information of like how much how many percentage or what six days or whatever. The the main thing is that when when you are riding and when you when you're tired you can get up there on it and I did a lot of riding like that on the Maluti 100 and um, yeah I think it's also just a psychological th thing it sort of like picks you up a little bit and you feeling you feel a little bit more upright and a little bit less like you uh, you're being hammered because it is a very forward bike especially with the with the way the um, you know the, the stem is slammed straight into the top tube of the frame. Um, I found setting it up to be that to be make sort of things visually quite tricky. You think like, okay, I've got it set up now, and then and then you get on the bike and you think, oh, it's still not still not quite right. Um, so I would recommend going for a professional bike fit when you do if you do buy one as well to get it 100% right because just sort of um, doing it yourself leaves a lot of leaves a lot of room for error. And I definitely got it got it wrong initially. It probably took me about an hour to. Um, to get the bike set up properly dialed in which is a hell of a lot longer than I normally would uh, take to do that and then it's just like look and a couple of quick adjustments and, and then I'm 
to get you comfortable. This is, this, this is a lot tricky, and I think it's because of that that very forward position sort of throws you off slightly. It throws you off your your expected norm of what you would what you would be looking at. What you'd be looking at. Um, as far as uh, di two goes on it, um, when you get tired, the the ease of di two shifting is just is just incredible. That's uh, really um, don't realize that uh, shifting actually makes you more tired. Um, I think it's, it really comes into its own when you're completely broken and, and exhausted. And then for, for 2020, um, Canyon have, uh, have updated with, with um, Shimano and they've got e -tap an ETAP wireless option of this bike and the 8.8, .8, the range topping version. And, uh, and then they also have uh, a Shima uh, Sh Shimano version, sorry, um, with the new Shimano GX consult my notes for this one. Uh, the GRX um, gravel specific DI2 um, drivetrain and then the GRX um, hydraulic disc brake as well. The, um, the last two things I just want to tell you about quickly before the video gets too long is the Reynolds ATR wheels are incredible. It's absolutely spot on. Um, they're super light big internal diameter, 23 millimeters. So the uh, Schwalbe G1 tires really sit nice and wide on them. Also, that helps a lot with the, with, with the stability and they, um, they really, they're, they're bomb-proof wheels. I was super impressed by why, how well they held up. And then as the tires as well, lots of grip, pretty good um, low rolling resistance. And what, what absolutely surpassed my expectations the most out of everything on the bike was actually the puncture resistance of the Shelby G1 um, tires. I, I really didn't expect them to, to survive those rough terrains. When I saw those ironstone rocks and the sharp edges on them, I thought, oh, there's no way I'm not going to puncture today. But they managed the whole way through and, uh, and the tread is actually still looking really good as well. So I'm, I'm super chuffed with them. All in all, I would definitely give um, the Canyon the Trail big thumbs up. Um, it's, a, it's a proper racing gravel bike. Um, for, for adventuring I would always, always prefer something with a uh, aluminium or maybe even a titanium frame or steel, steel frame. But if you want to race, if you want to go fast, then uh, this is definitely one of the best options out there, period. Cool. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video.